Hello, in this video I will show you how I make the FC throttle control for tractor or any other engine. First I bought this FSGT2B radio control for about 30 bucks on eBay. Why this and not any cheaper one? In first it has a failsafe function, this transmitter offers 3 channels, has built Lion battery and it's still cheap. Then I disassemble and take complete electronics out of it. All electronic components then built in a smaller box. You can see there the main board out of transmitter. This little board with button is from third channel into handle and the 2.4 GHz signal transmitter board from top of transmitter. I must use a piece of wire to connect boards because there was no space to plug board on board like it was original. There are two potentiometer from steering and throttle control. Those two LED for power and battery stay aside the solder and install with a piece of wire on housing. Li ion battery I just solder direct to the board so I lose of this spring contact from transmitter. There's one more cable for charge status LED. The battery is simply charged with USB. While charging the LED glow red and when the battery is full the LED turn green. This little 3 position switch for turn on the transmitter was soldered direct to circuit board. So I mount another one on housing and use a piece of wire to connect it with the board. Those two potentiometer I must change with a new one. Because those two in transmitter is non-linear. One is 90 degree and another is 50 degree. Because transmitter doesn't use the whole area of it. I change it with 5 kilo ohms linear potentiometer on both channel and it work good through entire area. I think that's all about the transmitter. Basically I just change the housing and put all the switches, potentiometers and LEDs out of it. Now let's see what's inside the receiver box. Out of box is just a cable for 8 to 26 volts DC input, fuse and the pull steel rope. Inside is just a big servo which pulling the steel rope, BEC to transform 12 or 24 volts to 5 or 6 volts and 3 channel receiver. From power supply cable, positive wire go through the fuse if something go wrong. Then continue to BEC which convert to 5 or 6 volts on output. This BEC got function to choose between 5 or 6 volts on output and there is the switch to choose. From BEC output cable go to receiver to supply it and the servo with proper voltage. I choose Hobby King 15338 servo which got 25 kilo on centimeter with 6 volts. It has a big bearing, it's waterproof and it's still cheap. I make a wheel under the servo arm so the force on bearing is much smaller. There's also a bit of aluminium hardware to mount the servo and reinforce box on steel wire output. Now let's see how it works. Connect the receiver box to power supply and turn on the transmitter box. Transmitter and receiver connected instantly and we are ready to use. Servo motor can be set in any position. Now look what that fail safe mean and how it work. That kind of receiver got fail safe only on one channel. But I use only one channel there so it's ok for me. Fail safe is a fail protection so if I got a full throttle and the transmitter battery exhausted, signal was lost or something else go wrong. The receiver instantly switched to fail safe function and set the servo motor on preset position. For me that means the motor dropped to idle RPM. When the signal from transmitter is received you are instantly back in game. I measure the pull power on steel rope before mounting. I improvise a lot there but I got the result on my pull weight gauge. Take the transmitter and try to pull. I got about 9 kg of pull power on 5 volts. Now set the BEC to 6 volts and see how much it help. With 6 volts that servo can pull about 11 kg. The spring or motor pump need just a few kilo. So I go back to 5 volts and maybe got some hour on servo lifetime. I make this for a friend who got remote winch but don't got remote for tractor. So I make a test on my tractor. I already got the gas stick on back part of tractor so you can set the throttle while operating with the winch. 
that's mean that I already got the holder for steel rope in front of diesel pump. So all I need to do is untighten a screw or two and change the steel rope. I didn't use a proper tool, I know that, but I just take some clamps when recording this. This time I just make a test, so I didn't take the power source from tractor and simply connect the battery on it. Maximum power consumption is about 1 amp on 12 volts. Connect the battery, power on the transmitter and we're online. Now try with running motor and make a test of phase safe. It works like it must. When the signal is lost, the RPM instantly drops to idle. When the signal is back, we got control on our hands again. Because of steel wire into a bowden, we can mount it wherever in any position, even in a cap with a few meters of steel wire and bowden. For all the components I pay about 60 bucks. And there are still two free channels, which can be used on, for winch pull via relay and cylinder, for a horn to shut down the engine or whatever you want. They can be connected to another servo motor or a few relays. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.